What just happened? How the Giants lost to the New Orleans Saints at the gun, and how they almost won the Giants' offense was explosive. Their defense was atrocious. But somehow, someway, they still would have won. In a casino game that saw an NFL record 13 touchdown passes, the Giants were hang in till the final play. But in the conclusion, only heartbreak awaited them. After the Giants punted another man Willie Sneed with 20 seconds left, he got off a great return, breaking several tackles, before Giants safety Craig Dahl forced a fumble. But the Saints recovered the ball, and Giants punter Brad Wing was required a face mask for the tackle. That placed the ball around the Giants' 32-yard line following confused ref squeeze ball in the 33- and 29-yard lines, allowing Saints kicker Kai Forbat to drill a casino game-winning 50-yard field goal as time expired for just a 52-49 win. Still, here I will discuss six main reasons why the Giants almost was able to scratch out a whale of the road victory, Eli Manning, Saints quarterback Drew Brees was otherworldly, without doubt. But so was Manning, who delivered one of the better games of his career. Manning was 30 of 41 passing for 350 yards, 6 touchdowns no interceptions. Odell Beckham Jr., Beckham stood a sensational homecoming in the first professional game as part of his hometown. The wide receiver broke out of his mini slump, hauling in 8 catches for 130 yards and 3 touchdowns. He caught two short scoring passes within the first half, then hauled in the 50-yard bomb from Manning to get started on the second half and tie the experience at 28. Dwayne Harris, after lifting the Giants after dark Cowboys a week ago with a 100-yard kickoff return to get a touchdown, Harris continued his ascent as being a receiver. Harris, who stayed inside the game despite ankle and knee injuries, had three catches for 37 yards and two touchdowns.